Anyway, let's get on with it and find out how you do a tightness test with this new DC 711. Come on then. Let's have a go now by using the app on my smartphone. When you switch over to using your smart devices, the DC 711 screen says it's in remote control setting. So I've actually put it on my iPad because it's easier to see than the phone. So tap to start, it now comes up with the DC 711. It comes up, it's now loaded. Now we need to go down to here for live working pressure and tightness. And then we need to go right into this corner here where it says tightness test. So it says let by test. And at the moment, the pressure is reading 0.45 millibars. So we need to increase this to between seven and 10. So you can see we're about 9.64 millibars. We can do automatic test or manual test. Let's do the automatic test. It now says we've got 9.63 millibars and we can start the timer. Again, it's now going to count down for one minute. Minute is up. You can see we started at 9.64. We then increased to 9.69. So we've gone up 0.05. So we've test is passed. So we can either exit the test or we can go on to the next one. So now we need to increase our pressure to between 20 and 21 millibars for our temperature stabilization. So you can see we're at about 20.78. So again, we can start the timer. And again, it will count down for 60 seconds. You can see from our temperature stabilization, we went from 20.78 and we went down to 20.77. So we only lost 0.01 millibars. So we need to go on to our final test, which is our tightness test itself. Now we need to tell it what meter we're on. So we're on a G4 meter, so we're allowed a four millibar drop. So we click onto that. Now it says start timer. We now can go through our tightness test. So now you can see we have completed. We started at 20.77. We stayed at 20.77. We're all in the green. We've got zero drop. Now we can either exit the test or if we wanted to, we could create a report. So like before, it says we've put it at let by tightness test. And again, now it's given us the full readings. We can email it, we can print it, we can save the job, we can share it, we can do whatever we want with it. So that's how you carry out a tightness test on the new TPI DC 711. So you can either do it with your tablet or your smartphone, or you can use the new screen. So hopefully you've liked the video, and I'll catch you on the next one, guys. Cheers.